G'day Dolly fans, it's Cassie here and welcome to the Rare and Pretty Dollhouse. It's another beautiful day and welcome back to our series of Monster High versus Rainbow High. Now in the last videos that we did, we have customized so far a Draculaura and a Frankie Stein. And this week we will be doing a Laguna Blue. So we'll be making our Laguna Blue out of a Delilah Fields, which is a generation four Rainbow High doll. I was really excited to see her similarities to Laguna Blue. And just to have that side by side, here is a generation one Laguna Blue brand new in the box. No, she's not for sale. I'm very sorry about that. But here she is and here's Delilah. So you can sort of see the similarities, but also how far we have to go. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting to unbox Delilah, so this is her second outfit. She's got a cute little lemon colored top and a white Britney Spears baby one more time era jeans, which I love. And I'm just gonna put the whole thing on one side along with her second set of shoes, which are daisy themed. Here's Delilah, we're gonna be cutting her out of the box. So we're unfastening all her ties and snipping the ones that we can't unfasten. I want to make sure all that hair is out of the way as we're cutting the ties. Here we go, she's clear of the box. Now we'll undress her. Now these little glasses had a tie at the back. We'll probably really need to um, retie them because we're going to be repainting these and using them for our Gulia Yelps custom. And here she is with the outfit. She's got little earrings as well, which are the gold bees which goes really well with the little daisy theme and she's got her shoes and the bobby socks and this little yellow chiffon dress and then underwear to um to stop the dress from being see-through and of course that little underwear there is white so we could customize that as well if we wanted to the daisy ties need to come out of the hair and then underneath the daisy ties is actually an additional hairband as well which is what keeps the style in place. Then we'll section her hair off camera and we'll get started with our dye bath. Because we've chosen to do Laguna today, she has these incredible aqua streaks through her hair. Um, they're not always in easy places to dye, so it's gonna be quite the challenge. Uh, here we're going through the process of adding salt and soap to the boiling water so that our dye sticks to the hair. Uh, I've tried to replicate Laguna's wave one look as much as I can with the placement of the streaks, which was again quite the challenge. So just going in there making sure that we're color matching really well. And I'm happy with that color so we're going to go ahead and continue to dye the rest of the strands. Now that the hair is dyed, I'm gonna get this dried off and then we'll get started on the face painting. Uh, we'll be looking at adding some Laguna elements to this face. Using the baby hairs as a guide, uh, she had little blonde baby hairs all around the, uh, the edges. So I've just added some blue in between those gaps. Uh, the blue paint has held really well. We didn't need a layer of Mr. Super Clear because for some reason just up there where those little baby hairs are, the surface is quite rough and really receptive to paint. And it's three dimensional as well. So that blue paint just sat in the little grooves in between the blonde hairs that were already there. Just looking at this Laguna piece that we put aside for our custom, it's a little bit small for our Laguna, so we're going to have to make our own. I did find this little ballet outfit that I think is gonna be a perfect fit for our doll. So we're going to 
paint this today we're just going to paint the front so we're putting this little plastic slip on the inside so that it doesn't bleed through the other side and then we're going to try and match those pinks on the front of it with some posca markers we're using it's actually a peachy coral for some reason at the moment it looks a little orange but that's actually a coral one must be the lighting and we've got the pink the light pink And the purpose of using the Posca markers and a bit of paint and a Sharpie to get the effect that we want isn't to make it absolutely perfect. It's because this is a fun crafting project that I want you guys to be able to replicate at home. And of course, if you want to get out the red pink dye again and you want to dye it different pinks, you can do. And you can get as fussy with it as you like. And you could even embroider the little black scales if you wanted to, if you want to go really high end and elevate the look. But for this project, I want everyone to feel like they can recreate something like this at home. So we're just gonna do this the nice, easy, fast way for everybody. And we'll have our little side-by-side -side comparison while we put her up the top there and let her dry. So I found these charms and I bet you can guess which part of the costuming I want to replicate with this. So this is Laguna's little seahorse necklace that I want to do for her. And I found these little silver charms and I thought that'd be really great if we could do it in the silver instead of the gold this time. So we've got a little jump ring here that I'm popping on with some jewelry pliers. And I found some really fine chain as well to go with it. These only cost me a couple of dollars at the craft shop and I picked them up at the same time I needed to resupply myself with all these dyes. Apparently it's time for Christmas decorations out there in the shops already and I was able to pick up some clear baubles that I thought would be a really cute addition to this. So Laguna does have her pet fish, Neptuna, but I feel like she's not the kind of girl who's actually going to carry around a pet fish. She's very environmentally conscious, um, she cares about animals a lot and especially the ocean and ocean life and I think that because we're quite forward thinking here. Laguna is going to have a hologram connection to her fish. So this is her fish in Neptuna, but it's the hologram of her fish. So this is kind of like fish iPhone, if you like. Uh, they can call in on each other, finding out how each other are going. She can sort of keep up with the tea on what's happening over on the reef. And of course, Neptuna can find out how she's going at Monster High because I feel like she has a really deep connection. It's more of a bestie relationship and less of a pet owner relationship. This fish is not the piranha Neptuna. So she's a reef fish. And I feel like that's more native to where Laguna lives. Uh, she lives on the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. And this is a reef fish uh, that suits that vibe a lot better. Uh, she's a littlest pet shop fish. I have quite a few of these, so I had a few to choose from, which was nice. Laguna's original jacket fits her shoulders and arms really nicely. Obviously you can't really wear the hood, but it does look really cute. 
and we're adding the mermaid high tail this doll line has been discontinued so they will be hard to find so please pick them up on discount now while they're available because these little tails are perfect for water play and i love laguna in a tail So here she is and she's got her mermaid tail. I really wanted her to have a mermaid tail. I cannot quite explain it, but here she is. Uh, Delilah Fields repainted to be Laguna Blue, ready to join the rest of our Rainbow High from Monster High. And we've got our charity ball look as well because she's out there and she's raising money for the ocean and conservation because of course she is, it's Laguna. Some of our dolls are for sale and of course some aren't ready for sale just yet but if you go and check our website you'll be able to see our wide selection of vintage and new rare and pretty dolls whilst i have you don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on next week's video ghoulia yelps